It's a program that is normally giving help, but now organizers are looking for your assistance. There, the Drug Abuse and Prevention Program lost the majority of its federal funding. In 2006, now officials from the program are working hard to raise private funds to keep the initiative going. With the ongoing opiate crisis and spikes in teenage suicide, they say DARE is needed now more than ever. Uh, we did lose uh, funding for the program, um, so, you know, as well as to get it back for the schools and to enhance the program K-12, through we have to do community fundraise. Um, so stepping out to the communities, direct, directly contacting the people and letting them know what we're doing and how we're getting it back to the schools, uh, especially right now with Maryland uh, issuing a state of emergency on heroin and opioids, as well as with the teen suicide rate that we're seeing going up in Maryland. Uh, we have to move as fast as we can to get the program back into schools. There are schools that currently have the program, but it's mostly funded by their PTAs.